claustrophobic and healthy or messy drunk. I can't imagine that my first recruits are going to include messy drunk. So Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today playing some Hammer Helm. Now, this one kind of came out of nowhere for me. It was a game I was vaguely aware of and that I knew that it existed, but I didn't really look at too much or put a lot of thought into. And then I was given a key to it from the developer for no readily explainable reason other than the fact that I exist. So I thought I would check it out and see what you guys think of it. I've put a few minutes into it, and it's a very odd hodgepodge of games and it's a little different than I thought it would be so I thought we'd check it out. I did leave a link to the developer's Steam page down below so if you want to check it out yourself go ahead and do that down there but let's hop into some Hammer Helm and we'll kind of figure it out as we go along. We'll start by creating a new character. We're kind of dwarfy but not totally dwarfy. We're a little dwarfy and a little halflingy, but let's, uh, oh, we can get all sorts of variations here. Oh, I like this. I do like a good character customization screen. That looks pretty good. How about my tunic color? Oh, bright red. There we go. Done. Sold. Absolutely. Lock it in. Uh, hair? Sure. Actually, I like that other one. There we go. Perfect. Apparently, I can't have a beard if I'm a female. I feel that sexist. Hair color? Uh, no, go back to the red. I liked the red. There we go. Get that. All right. There's my character who will, you know, naturally be named Dave because, well, that's my name. Confirm that. Let's see what we have to do now. Well, apparently I've been banished from my homeland. Well, that wasn't very nice, but I've got some carrots, so I've got that working out for me. Rebellious act of suggesting dwarves could live above ground. Yes, that does sound a little heretical, doesn't it? Spent months wandering and seeking new fertile lands. Alrighty. Now, as I say, I've put only a few minutes into this just to sort of get a vague idea. There's a lot of controls. So this is going to be a very typical wee hours stumbling over which key to hit at the right time. There's an awful lot of controls here. But let's see what I can do. P to open the build menu, place a storehouse and a wooden house as my first objectives. Okay, we found a spot far away from the stronghold, will attract others who are tired of living underground. That doesn't sound like a really good draw if you're a dwarf. Hey, come live in the sun. That seems like the exact opposite of what dwarves do. They're not the only ones watching. As our town grows in wealth, so will the threat from the goblins and the orcs. Okie dokie. So we're going to have some threats here. Oh, I like this. And I, I have looked at this. I have, as I say, I put a few minutes into this, but I didn't really pay a lot of attention. I was just sort of bumbling around. It's a good looking game. Kind of a little World of Warcrafty. I, I'm kind of getting that vibe off of it here. Uh, right, I should probably do a thing. Um, I, is it I for inventory, right? Yep, yeah, I for inventory. Fantastic. I've got a simple axe. I should probably equip that in my weapon slot. What else have I got? A weak heal potion and a weak stamina potion and 1600, I assume that's gold. Super. Uh, well, give me a shield. What are all these? These are skills that I I don't have yet. Second wind, spell resist, killing blow. Okay, we'll take a peek at those later. Let's do something very, very day one, chop down a tree. I assume, yeah, there we go. There we go. Chop down a tree, basic baby's first thing to do and just running over them picks up the stuff okay cool let's do that again let's chop down another tree or two i've gone for this slightly bigger tree because i just wanted to see if it gives more wood and i think it does i think that first tree gave off two pieces of wood that one gave off three so first impressions are bigger trees give more wood which is eminently sensible that's a very fair and reasonable thing to have happen uh, you said, yeah, you gave off two pieces of wood. Give me another tree. I know, I'm, I'm spending the first few minutes of looking at this game deciding what trees are better than other trees. I do like the fact all the trees are different colors and slightly different shapes. I, I like the look of it. It's very good looking. Right, another few pieces of wood from that big tree. Now, I guess we're supposed to start building a town. We've got a little town builder built into all of this, so... P to open my build menu. Okay, now what? How to build? Footprint. I know what footprints are. That's cool. They overlap. They're in red, but if you can build them, they're in green. And it looks, if I'm understanding this correctly, like roads will kind of 
auto-generate somewhere around the building. Okay, cool. I want to do that. And now, oh, I've got a grid now. And can I move up and down? Yeah, I sure can. I sure, wow, I've got a, I got a big town to build here. Okay, neat. So what did I need? A storehouse and a wooden house. Now that's what, 40 wood, 40 stone, I assume? And I have all of this. I, I guess I started with some inventory. I probably didn't need to chop down those trees, but chances are they're going to get chopped down anyway. Homes, food? Wow, there's a lot going on. Farms, hunter huts, cookhouses, shops, carpenter, alchemy, wood chopper. Oh, there are walls. Oh, there's a lot of walls. There, wow, there's a whole bunch of walls. So my immediate thought is, if there's walls, that means something's going to attack us. But let's just do what the game is telling me to do. Uh, yeah, I want a wooden house and... Oh, no, I can't do that yet. I have to do the storehouse first. Okay, got it. So storehouse, let's craft that. And now that I know there's walls, I should probably account for that. I, would, I should probably not build right up to the edge because I probably want some walls around that. So what if we, well, you know what? Let's just uh, plunk it down right here and see what happens. Okay, and a home. You wanted a, oh, I probably have to build the storehouse first, but let's see if it'll let me do a wooden house. I don't have enough gold, really. Okay, um, well, this, this may be a little slower going than I thought then. Uh, yeah, so that's going to... My, am I building this myself? Do I have to do everything around here? I assume if I have a town, I'm going to have townspeople. Ooh. Oh, and I can't get in. Okay, good. There's my road. All right. There's a door. Okay, now I can get in. It's not It's not a great storehouse yet. Uh, it's a little open concept, but that's fine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll place a storehouse and, and a wooden house eventually. Okay, so it's figured out that I can indeed build a wooden house, and I'm not going to get much farther until I do. Let's just for now put that right next to the storehouse. Oh, I've got a town now. Right. What will my town be called? Um, what will my town be called? There we go. The new dwarven settlement of Insomnius. Lock that in. New townspeople choose two. Okay. Will do. Uh, we've got some colony management here. Ardwolf, what's your deal? You're claustrophobic. That is literally like the worst quality for a dwarf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, Ardwolf. No wonder you're above ground. That is the most paralyzing quality for any sort of dwarf. But you're a scholar, right? You enjoy studying magic, but hates doing manual labor. I could see you possibly down the road, Ardwolf, but I don't think you're going to work out right now because I think we're going to do a lot of building, and that's probably manual labor. Uh, Lutina is hungry in a green thumb, eats more food, but loves to grow crops. Well, that might actually work out well. You can kind of make your own food, and you love doing manual labor, but you take a little longer to gather resources. Hmm... I think Ardwolf, you're exactly the wrong person I, re I need right now. I am, although, yeah, you hate doing manual labor. I'm going to take Lutina and Allery. Yes, you are my first two, it's an all-female cast right now. You are my first two dwarves that are coming out of the mines and joining my open-air town. Neat. All right. Now what? Ah, they're building the town. Okay, got it. So I place the buildings, and then these two are going to get down to building the town. And, oh, I actually, in my first little test drive of this, I didn't realize there was a day-night cycle. Neat. Okay, well, it's a little dark out, guys. Good thing Ardwolf isn't here. He doesn't like things like that. Dangerous beginnings. Speak with Allery and ask about the activity. Okay. Hi, Allery. Thank you for building my house, and my storehouse is complete. Let's speak to her. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, I can tell you to get stone, but I don't think I need that right now. What's up? You're, you're a worker. You can gather wood or stone. Okay. Do you have a quest for me? This is the perfect spot to build our town, but I saw, found some goblins, and they followed us, and they don't look friendly. Okay. I'll probably try and work on that. Are you chopping trees? Well, look at you, you little go-getter. Wow. Good initiative, Lutina. Good initiative. Right. Uh, so... I'm going to guess the goblins are over by the fire over here. That that sounds about right. Although my quest marker is kind of in that direction. Well, let's just go to the fire. Let's see what's up with that. That's got to be goblins. 
There's there's no way that's not goblins. Let's go deal with these people. Oh yeah, we got goblins. We got goblins. And be careful with that fire, guys. You're going to burn down your trees. Okay, left click to attack, middle click to power attack. Power attack meter fills, right? I see a lightning effect on my hand. Monster's health bars blink before they attack. And right click to dodge. I will remember virtually none of that. Virtually none of that. Let's see what I can do here. You guys want to come up and try and hit me? Uh, what was dodge again? Oh, that's dodge. Okay, I remember dodge. Good. I'd mostly like to hit you in the face. Yep. Uh, can I dodge? Oh, I can dodge backwards. I can kind of jump backwards. Neat. Uh, right. Let's not die day one. Dodgy dodge. Hitty hit. Cool. Dodge backwards. Dodge backwards. There we go. Okay, very kind of World of Warcrafty, and that's not a complaint. That's, um, oh, oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, oh, he hit me. He hit me. Dodge, dodge. There we go. All right, lead him away. Lead him away. Will my townspeople help with this? I wonder if I kite, oh, he disappeared. Where'd he go? Oh, I think I went outside his radius of effect here. I think he just teleported back to his camp. Oops. All right, well, well I was going to say if I could lead them back to town, but apparently I can't. Yes, I know how to fight. We're doing that right now, game. A uh, little bit of a whoops moment there. All right, unfortunately, you guys are at full health now, which is a little fussy. All right, I missed you, so i got to kind of stay in your area a little bit. Thankfully, the other guy hasn't noticed me. Uh, yep, hit you, dodge you. Dodge you over there. I just like rolling around, really. Hey, there. Oh, good dodge, me. Well done, me. Oh, oh, I've got my, I've got my power attack. Can I just go quickly? Ah, oh, I didn't get it in time. Got to power attack that guy. Hi. Do, do, do you want to come out and play? Are you at all fussed with me? I just killed your friend. All right, I'm just gonna go up and hit you in the face. And you are non-fussed with this. I think. Oh, nice power attack. I think we might have a little bit of a bug or a glitch with this guy, but that's fine. I'm going to take advantage of that. Press G to open the chest. Okay. 100 gold. Nice. Quality wood. Good. Oh, I know. I have the quality wood. I'm getting leather. That sounds sensible. Yeah, I bet that's a thing I want. Okay. Now what? You going to give me another tutorial? No. Find the three monster camps and destroy them. All right. So one out of three. Let's find contestant number two. Although, before I go there, I should probably equip some of these potions. How do I go about doing that? Is it quest items? No. Okay. Left bracer right, left shoulder right, helm trash. No. I don't really want any of that. What I'd really like to do is put that in my quick slots, which are clearly up at the top there. Let's see how I do that. Ah, okay, simpler than I thought. It's just right-clicking on them. Okay, got it. So now I've got my health potions in my quick tabs, and it looks like there might be... Oh, no, that's not a quest marker at all. That's just leading me back to town. Oh, the wooden house looks nice. A Larry. How many people does that hold? Is that just your house? Or do you share that with Latina? Little, little Amazonian in town right now. I don't know. Should I have you build something else? I feel I should. Uh, let me let me just do that before we go kill some more goblins. Get me another house. I, I want one of these. Yeah. Oh, I don't have enough gold. No, I don't really, do I? No, I have 300 gold. I could make a stone champion's home. What does that do? Oh, it's a place for me. Oh, neat. Place a bed inside to regain hit points. Oh, I can decorate the house too? Oh, cool. Okay, well, we'll come back to that after we kill some more goblins. And I can move a little faster. I found the sprint button, but that does drain my stamina. I probably shouldn't do that. Are we supposed to be over here? Should I chop this tree? I should chop this tree down. A little deforestation never hurt anyone at all. It's all totally fine. There we go. I'll, I'll bring some wood back to town while I'm in the neighborhood. Now, where are the rest of the goblins? And how big is this world? I feel like I've been traveling for a very long time, which is nice. I, I like a good big world to explore. Ah, campfire must be goblins. Alrighty. If you guys wanted to glitch out too and just stand there, that'd be fine. Brute attacks are more powerful monsters that can perform special attacks. Brutes, rather, are more powerful monsters. Can't be blocked. Got to evade them. Alrighty. 
we'll give that a shot. I, I don't know how that's going to work out. But you can... Oh, 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 back it off, back it off. I totally mistimed that hit. Uh, you're going to... Yep. It is nice that you flash aggressively when you're about to hit me. I do appreciate that. Uh, you can get take a hit, and you can dodge out of the way. And you can take a hit, and you can dodge out of the way. Okay, so far so good. Not not terrible at this yet. Are you going to flash at me to tell me you're attacking? Yep, you are, and I'm going to dodge that. Nice. Okay, and let's just actually do some basic dodging out of the way here. Just put some distance between these guys. Oh, I got my I got my power attack. There we go. I think one more hit should do you. There we go. Dodge him. Dodge him. Dodge him. There we go. Do I got you. I got you. No problem. Dodge and power attack. There we go. Oh, he got a bit of a hit on me. There we go. Right. Problem solved with those guys. That should be two out of three. And what do we get? More leather. Okay, that's. I'm sure I'm going to be using that for something. That'll that'll certainly come up. Looks like maybe the next guy is over here. I might want to take a health potion sooner rather than later, although I'm far more excited to build my own house and then decorate it. Okay, two of them, and I bet you're going to have some special attack that I'm going to get tutorialized about, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, spellcasters now. All right, spellcasters. Cannot be blocked, must roll or move away. All right, so much like the brute attacks, but probably from a distance. Hi! Um, I am going to hit you with an axe. And then I'm going to dodge out of the way. Oh, you're casting a spell. Dodgy dodge. Thankfully, you're very slow at casting spells, so it's actually pretty easy to dodge them so far. We'll see how that goes down the road. I bet you're getting lining up to cast something at me, aren't you? Oh, no, you're just going to rush me. No, you're casting a spell. Uh, hit you. Oh, I think I got two good hits in on those guys. I'm going to hit you in the back. And then... Oh, don't, don't go through the fire. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, you're down. You're down. I'm going to dodgy dodge. Uh, are you planning on doing anything? Yeah, you are. There you are. Well, so far, the spellcasters are kind of the easiest to deal with because when they're casting a spell, they're standing still and pointing in one direction. So once I've dodged your attack, I can actually just run up and hit you in the face while you're doing your little lightning thing. That's, that's manageable. I can cope with that. If you get more aggressive later and start moving around, that's going to get a little fussy. There we go, and you're going to stand right there while I stab you in the back. Come on. Nice. More leather out of that. We'll loot that. Thank you. And unwelcome guests. Something in the storehouse is taking things. Investigate. And I've gained a skill. Ooh, I like skills. Right. I have one skill point, and I have a little XP bar so I can figure out how experienced I am. What do I get? What do we got? Hard head, increase the damage from a dash attack, right? Athletic, reduces the amount of stamina while sprinting, more gold, more loot, blocking things. What do I want? I think this is the most sensible skill to start with. This is just kind of a no-brainer. Tough skin reduces the damage from physical attacks. Sold. I'll take it. Yeah, I will take that. Thank you very much. Um, I, I want to take that. There we go. Took that. All right. So that's that's a perfectly good first day skill is just less damage from attacks. But I guess we've got to go back to the storehouse. Um, I should run there. Apparently something is stealing something from me. I can hear something. I hear something goblin-esque. Little natterings and chittering somewhere. But I can't see anything. And as I don't have my house and or a bed, I'm just going to grab a... Quick stamina, or a quick health potion here. There we go. That tops me off nicely. Weak health potion it may be, but it topped me off to full health. That's good. Now, the storehouse, I'm going to assume I'm going to have to go in it and figure it out. It's not telling me that I need to talk to either of my townspeople. I feel I should get you guys working on something, like a farm. We, we probably are going to need food. This has got like a whole town management thing. Hi! Uh, what's, oh my god, oh wow, what are you? You're, you're like Skaven, holy moly. We, we've gone into Warhammer. Um, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, they're, they're not, um, fighting in an enclosed space is not quite as easy as fighting out in the open, but you're still spell, oh wow, he actually got a hit in on his spell. I've got, I thought I had a power attack there, but it's already gone. Uh, get out, get out of the way. I still have my power attack. I don't have it anymore. 
Okay, this could be going better. Fighting in an enclosed space, not so much. I don't know what you're doing, but it looks terrible, and I'm going to get out of your way. Your little rat men eating my grain. I, I don't think I actually go grow grain yet, but you're stealing something, and I'm not okay with it. Um, you look really cool, though, because you totally look like Skaven, and I'm fine with that. Uh, you are going to get murder. What are you doing? You've got, like, a shield up or something, I think. Just just hit him in the face. Power attack. Ooh, okay, that was slightly tougher. Uh, just because of the enclosed space, it was very hard to dodge those guys. Whew, all right, let's get some loot. They had no loot except gold. That's fine, gold's fine. Ooh, heavy metal. Place another house and a metal worker shop. Okay, now do I actually have enough gold for all of this? Because, oh, I'm just going to have enough. Obviously, it's kind of tutorially. I'm sure it was rigged for me to have enough gold, but... I don't think I have enough stone. I'm... No, okay, the metal worker shop does not require stone. Okay, so let's get fundamentals down. Another house would be just fine. And remind me how I rotate that again. Oh, yeah. I kind of want... If I've got a town builder, I want this to be nice and organic looking. So I'm not just going to line them up. I want this to look cool. Oh, when I get two new townspeople. Well, I guess that kind of answers my question about how many people get to live in a house. It seems to be two. You're a messy drunk. Oh dear, March Marchrigi, Mark Matrigi. Anyway, Maddie here drinks more beer, always getting dirty and needing new clothes. I have to clothe these people as well. Wow. Uh Karan here is nothing but good. You love to grow crops and you're likely to be in a good mood. Well, you're definitely in. You're again still all female cast here. It's getting very very Amazonian. Wolfbine is, again, claustrophobic like the other one, but healthy. Less likely to catch an illness. How detailed is this town management going to be? Oh, I've done a thing. I probably finished building my house. Sorry, I, I kind of assumed that being in this menu would pause time, but apparently it doesn't. I'll have to remember that if we're getting attacked. Claustrophobic and healthy, or messy drunk. I can't imagine that my first recruits are going to include messy drunk so let's take wolfbine i don't i'm not crazy about the claustrophobic thing because you karan you don't want to be in the mines either so neither of these folks are going to do any mining but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it right you're in and now what uh i need oh the, the metal worker shop okay metal worker shop where do we want that to live? And again, tutorially, I've already got the materials to do it because it's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. How about if we built that right here? I already like the way this town's coming together. I, I love a town builder that just makes me, lets me do what I want with it. Okay, you guys get working on that. I want to just walk around my town. There's my new house. Can I go in your house? Yes, I can. Oh, check it. And there's like, blueprints of things I could build here. Neat. I'm going to look forward to that. I'm sure that will be tutorialized for me, but that's cool. I wonder if the same is true in the metal worker shop. Well, while they're building that, I can, well, the storehouse probably doesn't have many blueprinty things. It's just a big hole with a roof in it. Allery, you are so industrious. I like you. You're one of my favorite new towns people. It's got a little sign. I like this. Oh yeah, I'm digging the metal worker shop. This looks very, very cool. Can I use both the doors? Uh, not that one, apparently. Okay, let's go in the other door. I want to check out my, um, yeah, my metal worker shop. Oh, it's got a little counter. Maybe we can buy things here. And it looks like it's complete as is. Looks like no no real blueprints I'm going to want to build later and some, unless something pops up. That's fine. Oh, there's a little display hammer by the door here. We've got mule nearby the door. Cool. Um, now what do I do? Well, now I guess we've got to get into the town management side of things, the colony management. So, shift V. Okay. All right. I would love it if this paused time. Can I pause time? It, what 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 makes things pause? I don't know. Right. Um. Okay. What do I do with this? Oh, and they've all got little traits too. Sorry, I'm just continually distracted. I'm kind of going down the rabbit hole of this game, finding all the little things in it. But Latina here, she just moved here, so she's pretty happy about that. And she's happy to be here, and she has a nice house. So she's wicked chill right now. Latina's digging this. How about Wolfbine, the claustrophobic? Yeah, pretty much all the same things. I'm. Oh, and Karan here is extra happy 
apparently. She's very, very happy because she is, in fact, happy. It's one of her traits. So that's always going to be a positive buff to offset any negative moodlets I might get with her. But anyway, long story short, who's going to be the metal worker? That's, that's the question here. Who gets to be the metal worker? Probably not the two people with the green thumb or the claustrophobic. I would imagine that the claustrophobic is not going to want to work inside. I'm seeing Wolfbine as being like a farmer or something. Somebody who's going to be out, out outdoors all day. I guess it's actually going to go down to our lazy oaf, Allery. But you've been pretty good so far. So how do I make you do that? How do I um, put you into that position? Oh, oh, uh, did I did I just delete you? Oh, I think I I think I just made Allery go away. I'm sorry, Allery. I just wanted to have a metal worker. Oh, no, never mind. Allery's back. It's okay. It's fine. I think I actually did assign her to be the metal worker by accident. Yeah, totally by accident. So I do indeed. I hit the plus. I want Allery to be the metal worker. Okay, she is now assigned as metal worker. I can clearly see that right here. And speak with Allery about crafting copper items. Okay, uh, she's probably in the metalworking shop. I was gonna ask, where is she? Uh, she does actually have a job, so she's probably in the metalworking shop. There she is. Why am I on permanent run? Wh what did I do to be on permanent run? Not sure. Well, Allery, what can you tell me about copper item? Thanks for building the shop. You're welcome. It was part of my tutorial. I can craft better items if you find some copper ore. Mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. Mine the three copper ore deposits near town. Do I need like a pickaxe for that? I, I feel I, I need a pickaxe. Can you make me a pickaxe? Because surely I'm not just doing this by hand, right? That does not seem an efficient way to mine things. I probably should take a health potion just in case I run into any problems. Those um, not Skaven kind of messed me up a little bit. Uh, are you a thing? No, you're the mine that's blocked. All right, well, where where do where does copper live? Oh, we've got some very World of Warcrafty copper here, don't we? Cool. All right. Well, what do I do with this? Can I hit it? Is that... I, I feel like this is... Yeah. All right. I got 10 copper ore. Apparently, I can mine with an axe. That doesn't seem correct, but I'm happy to do it. Maybe if I get a pickaxe, I'll be able to mine it better or get more out of it or something. I don't know. And I can't possibly imagine all three of these are going to be unguarded. I'm sure they're... Oh, what is that building over there? What's that? I want to look at that when I'm done mining this. What, what lives over there? There's a there's like an abandoned building. Oh, and there's like a thing. There's a rock down there in the water, and it looks kind of um weird. I, I want to go check that out. All right, um, mining. What what is going on here? Mining is off the table for right now. We're looking at things. Yeah, there's like a little abandoned settlement over here with I don't know cherry trees. This look like cherry trees to me. What is going on here? I probably shouldn't be here. This is probably a terrible idea. Now, that plant is slightly different colored and kind of highlighted. I bet I'm going to do something with that down the road. All right, I want to go check out that thing in the water real quick. Hang on, I'll be right back. Yeah, you can't put something like this in a game and tell me something isn't going to horribly spawn out of this later. It seems to be pretty chill right now, but this doesn't look right. I'm I'm going to die here at some point. Oh, I don't have anything. Oh, it's a magic pool. Okay, I've just answered my own question. I do not have anything to use with the magic pool. No, you're right. Can I just have a swim? Can we swim? Can dwarves swim? They're notoriously poor swimmers, but, you know, hope springs eternal. Okay, there's the last piece of copper right there that I need to get. Come on. There we go. 10 copper ore. Oh, I got an achievement for that. I'm a miner miner. Excellent. Craft a new item at the metal workers shop. Oh, I'm crafting as well. Okay. This is a game that has clearly thrown a lot of other games in the blender and hit the mix button. And I'm not opposed to that. There's a lot going on here. I'm just going to kind of look over my budding town here, my new town out of the underground, out of the mines, in the open air, where all dwarves should totally not live. But 
here we are. There's some Hammerhelm. Do please let me know what you guys think of it. I'd like to kind of keep plugging along here with this and just see what else is going on. There's a lot happening here, apparently. So let me know what you think of Hammerhelm. Do you want to see more of this? Do you want to see less of this? Do you want to see all of this? Do you want to see none of this? You let me know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. Anyone want to get the head out of the hot tub? Did you want to maybe pull this head out of the hot tub? That's not sanitary, guys. That is not okay. That's a health code violation in the mansion.